Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, April the 21st, 2017. It's your boy, Dr. Greenbeard here, and I just had to do this video to show y'all something so cool. So I come into my room, and it's like, bam. I, I've got the warning light on because I've only been in here for a few minutes. Now, it's going to go off, but here's something amazing. Here's what's important. Um, hello? My CO2 tank is empty. Hmm. But if my CO2 tank is empty, and I'm just in here breathing, and I got the warning light on, well, what happened? Let me put you in on game. Here's what happened. What happened was, is whenever my CO2 tanks get low, all right, or whenever I'm afraid that they might get low and I don't have a refill ready, what I do, and you'll see, you know, the meter, the meter actually came down. That's because I'm probably breathing and whatnot. So yeah, the meter's down, but here's what I've done. In between each of my lights, you'll see that I have a CO2 green pad. I got the CO2 green pads in full effect. And every time I pull down old ones, well, I just leave them folded and stack them right there on my lid. But I supplement my CO2 with the CO2 green pads because, well, here's what happens. Tank runs out. CO2 is still on point. And that's what is green pads because, well, here's what happens. Tank runs out. CO2 is still on point. And that's what is most important. And as you can see, as the fade's getting on, as the fade's getting on, the CO2 is absolutely, absolutely imperative that we keep it on point throughout the flowering stage. So if we're able to supplement our CO2 tanks with a little bit of CO2 pads, well, it's a smart move. This is Dr. Greenbeard. This is another Daily Dose, dropping some knowledge on you. Hope it helps you out. Don't be afraid to pick up CO2 green pads and use them as supplemental CO2. For instances like this, when the tank runs dry, but the CO2 is still raining from the sky. See you again soon. Peace.